Happy Homebrew Wednesday. We're doing things a little bit different today. Normally I film a fair bit of stuff on my iPad, but uh, unfortunately I, uh, I dropped it and cracked the screen. So that's a way for repair. So at the minute I'm filming on uh, my iPhone and uh, I'm going to edit it all up on uh, iMovie on my MacBook. So that should be fun. We'll see how that goes. Now, this week, um, I haven't had a chance to brew, although you'll see shortly um, that I've got the follow-on from my brew day when uh, I took the, um, the water and put it into, the completed water and put it into the fermenters and you'll see a little bit of that happening. Um, what else has happened? Crumbs. Um, it's been, again, another busy week at work. Uh, thank goodness I work in a school, so it's um, I'm due a holiday next week. Thank goodness, it, it's a hard life, but somebody's got to do it. Um, I managed to get the things off to Clive this week, Norfolk Hillbilly, because uh, he was the winner, uh, as I announced last week, of my hundred subscribers. Uh, thank you very much to uh, I've had another three since then, so thank you very much. I'm up to 103. And next week, um, as I say, it's holiday time, so there will be uh, a non-location report uh, and maybe a beer review on location. And we'll see how that goes. Um, I like to you know do things differently every now and again, instead of just me sit sat here in front of the in front of the screen boring you to death. Um, so yeah, so that's, that should be good fun. Um, I'm now, now going to have, I haven't got a drink in front of me at the moment, but I'm just about to get one. So here we have Mr. Ant Rogerson's Sputnik Sout. Now I could be brave and open this on camera, but I've heard uh, a number of reviews on this beer, all saying how good it is, but also saying that it could be a bit lively. So because I haven't got my usual equipment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it and pour it and then come back. I'm uh, going to use the bottle opener that Aunt Rogerson sent me, so wish me luck. Well, there was a nice hiss, and it certainly isn't a gusher on. When it has been in the uh, in the fridge, let's give it a little pour. Oh, that looks good. I'm just going to stop it there and let pour the glass. What can't do it one? <laughs> I don't know. If it's my pouring. More than likely, it is. Well, I made a right pig's ear of that. It smells fantastic, but uh, we'll come back to it when it's settled a bit. Okay, so let's give it a go. It seems to have settled a bit. Now, as I said, quite generous head on that still, but it was the way I poured it, not the way um, Hans brewed it, I'm sure. Wow. It smells very stouty and quite like Venus, you know, you're getting grapey plums and it's uh, very dark as you would expect the stout to be and uh, it's got a kind of brownie foam to it, head to it, and the bubbles are well, are a mixture of quite tight, and some of them are large ones which are popping at the top. But it's, uh, it's a lovely, certainly a creamy head, really good. I'm going to dive in. Cheers, Ant.
Wow. That's class. Absolute class. It's a beautiful, beautiful flavour. Really good mouthfeel. Nicely carbonated, not over carbonated. I think that, that's all the difficulties I've had on the, on the few occasions that, that I've made stouts. I've over carbonated them, and, but, but that's not. That's, that's, that's great. Full body, but it's smooth. And I think I could, it could probably get you into a lot of trouble, this one. Um, I know it's an imperial stout, so it's, it's, it's quite a strong one. Um, I don't know the exact ABV, I'm sure Ant will uh, put a comment on. Um, but crumbs, I, I feel like I could, I could really enjoy you know, two or three of these to sip slowly over the night, but I think it would, uh, as I say, it would uh, certainly cause some aggro. There's my little friend, the Shoof. The Shoof. But, uh, yes, from the German brewery, eh? And that's tremendous. I'm going to enjoy this off camera because I, I just want to sip this and and really, really enjoy it. Um, I'm looking at it here lo lovingly. It's uh, it's beautiful. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, well done. I would certainly give that, uh, you know, a 10 out of 10. Definitely a 10 out of 10. That is tremendous. Tremendous. So... On to the rest of the, of the uh, video. Um, coming up, there is some uh, video of, as I said earlier, putting together, uh, putting the, the wort into the fermenters and seeing how that goes on. That, that, that wort was the, the one to go on to make the DKN. Um, so I hope you enjoy that as well. And um, I won't see you at the end of the video. We'll say good night here. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you haven't commented, please do comment and thumb up the videos. I appreciate all your comments and that helps me to make better videos. Um, take care. Keep on brewing. And we'll see you next week. Well, here we are about to put the drop kick nate from the cube into the fermenting bin. It's had um, star sign in it and we're about to uh, empty that bit of star sign out and put the drop kick nate in so here we go then out of the cube into the fermenter that was quite heavy out get plenty of oxygenation in That bit, oh, tiny bit more left. Get that in. The next thing to do is to put the straight from the okay. My little assistant on the video today, come in, come in. A bit. This is US05 we're using and um, when this is in we'll put this to bed, let it ferment for about 7 to 10 days and then we'll add the dry hop. So we'll just give this a squirt, star sand, the lid, Round. Now I always like 
put a little bit of star sign or a little bit of vodka or something into here. I'm just going to put a little bit of star sign in rather than just plain water. Never had any problems with it before by doing that. A lid on. And, voila, see you later. So the uh, OG on the DKN was 1061. I was aiming for 1054, so comes a little bit higher than I expected, but uh, normally actually I do hit quite a bit higher. So a 1061, that's not bad. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so let's give it a go. It seems to have settled a bit. Now, as I said, quite generous head on that still, but it was the way I poured it, not the way um, Hans brewed it, I'm sure. Wow. It smells very stouty. And quite like Venus, you know, you're getting grapey plums, and it's uh, very dark, as you would expect this out to be. And uh, it's got a kind of brownie foam to it, head to it. And the bubbles are well are a mixture of quite tight and some of them are large ones which are popping at the top but it's, uh, it's a lovely certainly very creamy head really good I'm going to dive in cheers and Wow, that's class, absolute class, it's a beautiful, beautiful flavour, really good mouthfeel, nicely carbonated, not over carbonated, I think that, that's all the difficulties I've had on the, on the few occasions that, that I've made stouts, I've over carbonated them, and, but, but that, that's not, that's, that's, that's great. Full body, but it's smooth, and I think I could, it could probably get you into a lot of trouble. This one, um, I know it's an imperial stout, so it's it's, it's quite a strong one. Um, I don't know the exact ABV. I'm sure Ant will uh, put a comment on. Um, but crumbs, I, I feel like I could I could really enjoy. You know two or three of these to sip slowly over the night but i think it would uh, as i say it would uh, certainly cause some aggro there's my little friend the shoof the shoof but uh yes from the german brewery eh? and that's tremendous I'm going to enjoy this off camera because I, I just want to sip this and and really really enjoy it. Um, I'm looking at it here lo lovingly. It's uh, it's beautiful. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, well done. I would certainly give that uh, you know a ten out of ten. Definitely a ten out of ten. That is tremendous, tremendous. So. On to the rest of the, of the uh, video. Um, coming up, there is some uh, video of, as I said earlier, putting together, uh, putting the, the wort into the fermenters 
and seeing how that goes on that, that, that what was the the one to, going to make the dkn um so i hope you enjoy that as well and um i won't see you at the end of the video we'll say good night here so thank you all for watching uh, thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet please do if you haven't commented please do comment and thumb up the videos i appreciate all your comments and that tells me to make better videos um, take care keep on brewing and we'll see you next week